Hey everybody, hope you all are doing well. I don't have a ton of time tonight, but I really wanted to play at least one episode. Alright, let's go see what this is. A dragon gem. Okay, that could be very useful for Elton. And I think I have a max repel going. Yes, I do. Or a super repel, rather. So we'll use another one. And as you can tell, we are back in uh, the giant chasm. And hopefully this time we can make it all the way through. Now that the team plasma grunts are no longer blocking the way. There we go. And continue onward to Victory Road and the Pokemon League beyond. I'll just bring up the town map real quick so you can see where we are. And Route 23, I think, actually has a TM that we want. I can't remember which one it is. Um, so I guess we'll find out together. And that was not where I meant to go. Um, hopefully this doesn't take, like, Waterfall or any really weird TMs to get. If it does, I'll come back and try off screen. First things first, what is this place? Your Pokemon not in perfect condition. Okay, so just a little rest stop. I thought she was insulting my Pokemon. Well, that's very kind of her. But, uh, we really weren't too beat up. Hmm. Okay, we don't have Cut, but we do have Surf. And that should get us this item, which might be our TM. Nope, just a Heart Scale. Could still be useful, though. I do not have a chance to get the Black Glasses yet, since it is still winter in-game. And it's, it's kind of, um... Very useful having a Saw's Buck, because you can easily check what season it is. At least I think that it changes um, forms even when it's not in the PC. Actually, I think it only changes form when it's out of the when it's out of the PC, so it should change as soon as the season changes. And yeah, even though we're not at Victory Road quite yet, the trainers here are going to be very high level and very powerful, so I am excited. Brenda has a throw level 57. Whoa, that's higher than I thought. I did very carefully look up the um, first level of the Pokemon League's first Pokemon. Oh, also, this is not Asper, obviously. This is Nim. I figured we'd disguise ourselves as somebody different than Bossa for a change. Um, the reason I like doing Bossa is because, uh, you know, being a fighting type, the enemy is more likely to use, like, a psychic attack against him. Ooh, okay, well... Yeah, see, being a normal type, he's not going to um, have any second guesses about doing a fighting type attack, and both normal and dark are weak to fighting, so probably not as good of a disguise. Let's bring in Alton to finish things up. Although, to be honest, he probably wouldn't have changed his move against Vasa either. And Endure, that's kind of annoying, because it'll make him survive this with 1 HP. So really just prolong the inevitable. But yeah, as I was saying, the uh, first level of the Pokemon League's first Pokemon is level 60. Um, actually, I looked up Grimsley's, but uh, I'm pretty sure all four Elite Four members have the exact same levels for their Pokemon. And then, of course, the champions will be a bit higher. And that's two Endures in a row. The chance of it um, succeeding each time gets lower and lower. Although, he has been very lucky. I think it's 100% and a half and a quarter. But he has given up trying his luck, and down goes Throw after wasting some of our power points. And Battle Girl Brenda is defeated. Of course, so is Nim, so we'll go back and heal in a little bit. But for now, we will press forward. I'll um, we'll use a Repel, because we'll probably be heading through some grass at some point. I don't think there's anything across the river here. And another trainer. I keep a tally of all the times that I have won or lost up till today. If I battle against you, I wonder which number will be increased. Well, hopefully for us, the amount of his losses. Ace Trainer Grant and an Amolga. Saw one of those at the fourth gym, of course, so very long ago. We're a little bit stronger now, although we do have a bad type matchup here. Let's go for Rock Slide. Well, I guess we don't, because Rock is good against Flying, even though Electric is good against our Flying type. And we are faster, which is a little surprising. Amolga's pretty fast, but so is Archaeops. Good job, Russ. And a Jellicent, another strong Pokemon, Water and Ghost type. Um, nothing super effective, so let's go with Fly. Also, I think I said the he, um, um, when Colrus had one was, I might have said it was Psychic and Ground, I can't remember now, but it's pure Psychic. I was thinking of Cladle, which is Psychic and Ground. And I knew that, like, consciously, I was just, um, I guess, 
going on autopilot or speaking on autopilot. Oh, and down goes Russ. Like I said, these trainers are very tough, so definitely need to get a few levels under our belts before we take on the Pokemon League. Let's bring out the real Asper, though. And we will confirm my suspicion that Ghost does not resist Grass, just Bug. Which I always get confused, because, again, the first Ghost line, Ghastly Hunter and Gengar, did resist Grass because they were poison types, so I kind of got in my head that Ghost resists poison, or Ghost resists Grass when it does not, poison does. Sneak along. And we'll face this guy next, if he will face us. Hi ho! Off to work we go. That'll be me in too few hours from now, unfortunately. So I'm probably going to bed right after this. So yeah, I think I'll get our team to level 60, and then we should be just about on even footing with the Pokemon League. Going into it a little underpowered for the champion. I'm gonna use superpower. Just because something is telling me the flamethrower might not be enough to knock out Pilot Swine, although we do have charcoal. If I remember that we had the charcoal, I probably would use flamethrower. But superpower should definitely be a knockout. And even though it lowers our attack and defense, at this point I will take the win. Yeah, I guess I probably should have uh should have used flamethrower first, because now our attack is lowered and Probo Pass is four times weak against superpower. Although being four times weak, even with the attack drop, this should still be a one-hit knockout. Or at least down to 1 HP if it has the sturdy ability. Which it does not. So good job, boss. I guess that was the right call after all. Our little starter here is getting lots of XP. Already level 56. Hi-ho. A man of few words, I see. Okay, let's bring out Ulton for a bit. We'll press on where I think when we lose a third Pokemon, I'll turn around and go back and heal up. And I do see a waterfall, but it looks like we can't get to it. See, this would be a good place to have the rest house over here. It's a little less useful back where we came from. Ooh, and a Haxorus. And, okay, yes, this is the move I wanted, Flamethrower. Awesome. I kept challenging the Pokemon League and I kept losing. Now it's just one Pokemon and me. I really can't kick the bucket and leave this Pokemon. That's a strong one. Another Haxorus, but... Goes to show that even if this veteran trainer with the Haxorus can't beat the Pokemon League, they are definitely very tough. So let's go ahead and use Flamethrower. And we already have that on Bossa, but we will teach it to Nim. That'll be a really good coverage move. And we can probably get rid of Shadow Claw because it's a physical move and it's, um, it's not Dark type, but Dark and Ghost have very similar coverage. I guess the only time, I'm trying to think of when you would use, I guess against fighting types is when you could use ghost move, but we actually tend to here fighting types, so I guess like a fighting and dark type, but then you just use a dark move. No, that's four times not very effective. Yeah, I guess a fighting and dark type, but at that point you're already kind of on the back foot, so I'm not going to keep it just for that. And another trainer. This is the concerto I perform with my most beloved Pokemon. Hmm, what's Pokemon that sings? Aldino or Exploud? Swana, okay, that, that makes more sense. Swana is a much more elegant Pokemon than Exploud or Aldino. Although I did max out the beauty of my Exploud in Pokemon Sapphire and won a bunch of contests with it, which was really fun. Didn't think I would get so much into the contest, but uh, I actually really enjoyed that. So if you ever wanted to see what contests are like, or super contests, I guess, definitely check out the, that part of my... Um, Sapphire playthrough. So Swana is faster, but it cannot take a hit, so luckily Elton won that matchup, and Galvantula, another cool Pokemon that I haven't ever trained before. Electric and Bug type. We'll stick with good old Dragon Claw. And Sucker Punch goes first, as long as your opponent uses a damaging move, which of course we are. But it's a dark type attack. Ooh. Didn't quite get the knockout. No beam is a stab bug move. Can we hold on? Ah, uh, we cannot. All right, so we'll go heal real quick after this. Um, and let's bring out... Let's bring out Flow, and I really hope this Galvantula doesn't have, like, Energy Ball, because I think it can learn Energy Ball. And we'll use Circuit to finish it off. 
Nope, just signal beam. Pretty sure we can take one of those. Yep, good job, Flo. I think um, Seismitoad is actually surprisingly bulky. At least has like a decent HP stat. All right, some very good battles. Um, you know what, we have tons of money. I could go back to that little house, but I think it'd be quicker to use some items. So bear with me for one second here and we'll use some of these revives I bought on Russ, Nim, and Ultim. And I do need some other healing items. We're gonna start using Hyper Potions because um, a lot of these guys, well, I guess actually, I guess we can use Moon Milks for a while still. I think 100 HP should be enough. And we'll let Nim rest for a little bit and keep Ultim at the front of the pack. Just to save time. Dead end over here. What about over here? Oh, I see a bridge. I see a little path. I'm gonna say no. All right, choices, choices. Let's actually go south first. And get off the bike so I can be a little more precise here. Ooh, is that Namungus? I think it probably is. It is. 56, ooh, high level. So if for some reason you really need another addition to your team and have an empty slot, I'm not sure I'd really train in Amoongus because they're very slow, so that could be very annoying to train one. And they're also more of like a, a defensive status Pokemon, like an Annoyer, than a, a Sweeper. They are a very good Annoyer, a very annoying Annoyer, as you can see. Got some healing moves, and its ability can inflict status conditions on you. So, yeah, this is definitely uh, pretty tough for a while, Pokemon. But I think Ultim can take her. It'd be very nice if it used something other than Synthesis. Synthesis is a move that heals your health based on what the um, weather condition is. And I think by time of day as well, although it doesn't appear to be... I think only in some games it actually has that effect. Like in the JoJo games, I'm pretty sure it does. Okay, Clear Smog I will take. That is a weak um, poison move. And we did not have any stat changes to begin with. Probably could have saved a power point on Dragonfoil there, but too late now. Okay, let's go ahead and heal up again. I suppose we could have just run from the Amoongus, but what fun is that? And I do have some full heals somewhere. There we go. 34, should keep us busy for a while. And let's face this guy now. I just want to battle back there, so I'm feeling good. I wonder if I should have battled him when he was not standing right here, because I think after you beat them, they stand still. In which case, he is now blocking this little path. I wonder if that's the trick that I totally missed. All right, so we face a throw. Now we're facing its counterpart, Sock. And again, it's going to use Endure, but that's okay, because using it on its first turn is not nearly as annoying. Since we probably won't knock it out anyway, yeah. And we'll use Shadowfall this time and hope it doesn't go for Endure again. It did not. And down goes Sock. Yeah, it would've been a lot better using like an offensive move the first turn, and then maybe try to Endure if we were still poisoned or something. There are definitely uses for Endure, but it's not always a good move. Yeah, that guy is standing still now, but I can sneak through this way, so never mind. And another item up here, an iron that can increase the defense of one of our Pokemon, but it does use effort values up, so I'm not going to use that. I'd rather save them for attack or something. Ah, all right, I guess we need a cut probably to get through there. Or can we go, or we can go the long way, that's cool, okay. Glad I checked. Don't know if that's a rock smash boulder, I don't think it is. I think it's just there for background. So that's cool that even though you can use cut for a shortcut, you can still get here regardless. And a star piece, which we can just sell for some more money. I heard a weird noise, not sure what it was in real life, not in game. Hopefully nothing concerning. And, oh, I thought it was a ninja boy, it's a ranger. I've been waiting for this, waiting for this very moment. 
I'm like waiting for my monitors to like fall down or something, but thankfully everything seems to be okay. Stunfisk. Okay, that's a weird little Pokemon. Um, I can't actually remember what type it is. Like ground and electric, maybe? I feel like it's never the type that I think it is, but either way, it should be. Um, it should take even damage from dragon attacks. Thunderbolt. So it at least knows electric moves. I'm going to go ahead and look it up because otherwise I uh, probably won't remember to check. And I normally won't look things up to, um, you know, like, help me in battle because I feel like if I don't know it, it's not fair to, like, have a cheat sheet. But since we had already basically defeated it. Um, oh, no, another Amoongus. Our nemesis. All right. Alton used Dragon Claw. Yes, Sunfisk is indeed ground and electric type. A very unique combination. And not really a good one, to be honest, because, like, electric doesn't have too many resistances. One thing it does resist is electric, but then ground is already immune to that, so... Yeah, I'm not really sure. I guess it gains two stab types then. Um, and I guess electric gives a resistance to steel, which is a very uncommon attacking move. We are poisoned again, so let's go ahead and switch out to a different Pokemon. Um, I don't know. Between him and Amoongus, I feel like they were both very, uh, very ambushy. We'll put Basa back in the old last spot, seeing if our trick can work again. TM05 Roar. Not going to bother with that one, but I guess it's good to have. Alright, so I think we've seen all we can over in this area. What's going on over here? Just a loop, okay. Another ranger, let's face them. Oh, trainer, embarking on the path to Victory Road. Won't you show me your true power? I would love to. Well, ironically, I say that, and then I'm leading with a lie, or at least an illusion. Ooh, floats on another cool Pokemon. Gen 4 water type, very fast. And it thinks it'll be good against my Pokemon, but... Little does it know, we are a Zoroark in disguise. I'll probably switch out Dark Pulse to be our first move slot, too. Now that's our main stab attack. Didn't get the flinch, unfortunately. We are faster. Zoroark is pretty fast. And Aqua Tail is still a lot of damage, being a good physical attack. Um, unfortunately, Zoroark does not have good defenses at all. It's very fast and is a very good special attack stat. I think a pretty good attack stat, too. But it's kind of a glass cannon. Its uh, defenses are weak. Um, could learn Nasty Plot, but like I said before, I don't really like using those sweeper moves because a lot of times if you can get off a Nasty Plot or a Sword Stance, you just end up sweeping the enemy team, um, which can be good in like competitive play, and it's a good, it's a great strategy, actually, but um, it doesn't make for very interesting battles, and I kind of like getting to use all of our team members, so I try to avoid them in these in these playthroughs, because I'm pretty sure I can beat the, the uh, Elite Four and the Champion without resorting to staff boosting moves like Sword Stance, Dragon Dance, or Nasty Plot. And Lucario, that's a pretty cool Pokemon too. Another Citrus Berry. We've seen some cool Pokemon in this episode. Victory Road lies right before us. Very exciting. Um, I do want to use some more medicine though. And we'll heal up in Milton. And we have plenty of full heals left. So we'll use one of those too. Alright. Moving right along. And that's a dead end. So how do we get over there? I am not sure. I guess we go up this area. Oh, no, because this goes onward to Victory Road. All right, we'll go up there in a moment. I suppose you could double back. Very possible. But let me just make sure I didn't miss something. Hmm. So there's an item over there, which is presumably a very good item. And I did see a waterfall. But I thought it's not possible to get to that waterfall, right? And we don't have any Pokemon that know Waterfall regardless. There's something in the water, but I'm not going to worry about that. Yeah, maybe the idea is that you go forward and then make a U-turn and go back around. And look who it is. Didn't expect to see him here. You came. The Pokemon League is just past Victory Road. 
Pokemon battles do nothing more than hurt Pokemon. That's how I understood it, and that's why I hated battles. But it's not that simple. Pokemon battles decide winners and losers, it's true. Yet they do so much more. Your Pokemon, you, your opponents, and their Pokemon. Everyone can see what wonderful things the others have to contribute. That's right, accepting different ideas, different beings, changes the world like a chemical reaction. Pokemon battles are like a catalyst, a small component that leads to big changes. My friend Zekrom taught me that, and it's the formula I've derived from traveling the world. I want you to think for yourself about what it means. Here, take this with you. The new victory road is areas that are only accessible with Waterfall. Ah, uh, okay. So now we can learn Waterfall, though I really don't want to teach Chamber Pokemon. You will get past the Pokemon League and recognize your own ideals. That's what I see in store for you. I guess if we do have to teach it to somebody, I could teach um, I could teach it to flow and then... Oh, the badge check. That's cool. I like how it's automated now. Back in the first game, it was like a series of eight guards. Which is sort of old school. In the first game, in this case, I mean like red, blue, and yellow. I do like this is like all techy, but at the same time, there was something just like... Super cool about that. Also, is this out of order? It seems out of order. I guess not. Was there an ice type gym? Or was this like a... Okay, so we had normal, poison... I think this was bug. Maybe I just thought it was an icicle. Yeah, electric, ground, fly, okay. And then dragon, the legend badge, and lastly, the wave badge. So I do not see how to get to that item. There's got to be a way, but it also probably isn't an item that we want. Flamethrower was the real one that was the prize. And just like that, the gate is open. And the way to the Pokemon League is clear. That was actually really cool. I like the animation there. There's um, there's something very ominous about like the first game's series of checkpoints, but this was very different, but still very cool. Pokemon League is through this tunnel. Luckily, we have a little historic Pokemon Center, it looks like here. And a maze. Let's see. Okay, let's grab this Pokeball. I wonder if maybe this maze somehow leads to the other area we saw. I'm not sure how. I think that was on the other side. Let's grab... Oh, we're not. Okay. This might just lead to the item over here. A another start piece. Okay. I'm very curious how we get to... That other area, though. All right, does not seem to be through this maze, so let's get out of here. I might look that up too, just to sage my curiosity. But first, let's heal up our team. Yeah, this is really cool. All right, so while she's doing that, I am going to Google Route 23, and I should probably specify Unova, because instead I got Route 23 outside of Philadelphia which I'm sure would be fun to drive one day, but that is not what I'm looking at today. All right, found a little map on Bulbapedia here. So it looks like, uh, where am I looking at? Okay. So I see the bridge. Oh, you need to have cut. Okay, so there was that little tree that we would need to cut through. And that'll take us to a bunch of areas. I don't see any more trainers there, though, I don't think. It's a little hard to tell, but... Yeah, I don't think we really need to worry about that too much. So instead, we will press onward and begin our challenge of Victory Road. Why don't you prove to me how much you and your Pokemon are capable of? I would be happy to. I'll probably make this one a little bit of a shorter episode, just because when I need to get to sleep... And two, um, we're still going to have at least one more episode to go before the Pokemon League, so I want to make sure we save a decent chunk of victory for that. And level 59, while well, these guys are not playing around. All right, Galark. 
is a ground and ghost type. So once again, he probably thinks he has the upper hand here, but little does he know, we are a dark type. And down he goes. Element of Surprise is always very satisfying. And Sigilyph, okay. A Psychic type. Once again, weak to Dark Pulse. Yeah, I'm so glad I spent those blue shards getting Dark Pulse. I know that eventually we'll get a better Dark move, but just in the interim, it's it's so much better having a Dark move in addition to Extra Sensory. And before I forget again, let's go ahead and switch our um, Dark Pulse and Extra Sensory. All we need now is Focus Blast, which I think we get after the Elite Four, and then we'll have a complete move set. And let's switch out to Asper. Share the XP. I think I'll probably do like two more battles here. And we do some least strength, so I guess it's good that I kept strength for a bit. And does this go in the hole up there? Looks like it does. It does, yay. Saw me from across the bridge. I use my psychic powers to release my Pokemon from its Pokeball. <laughs> Didn't know you could do that. So maybe I should have kept Nim in front after all. But I think Asper can handle them too. Although, ooh, Lampent. That is a fire type. A ghost and fire type. So probably not the best matchup. In fact... Actually, this is a very bad matchup because Lampent and its line of ghost and fire types are the only ones that resist all four of our moves. So let's go ahead and just switch right out to Nim. We'll probably take an incoming um, damaging attack, but we'll see. Flame burst, yes. Yeah. So that will unfortunately not be resisted and will break our disguise, but now we have a very fast dark type out and we will use dark pulse. And down goes Lampent. Pretty cool Pokemon. I like the design of it too. Not only does it have a very cool typing and pretty good stats, at least for a middle evolution, but it just looks cool. And Musharna, a psychic type. Once again, no problem for Nim. Well, I say no problem, but Musharna is a defensive psychic type, so this might just take two hits. Probably could use Flamethrower there actually to finish it off, but after the Calm Mind, we'll play it safe and use another Dark Pulse. I like its cry. It's a cool little sound. Well, that didn't go the way I wanted it to. It was a good fight. All right, very quickly, one more battle. And this is a dead end, it looks like. So let's go up here. I don't know if I have a repel going. I think I do. One more trainer battle, I should specify. Right, I'll go down there next episode and do some exploring. I do not, or wow, well, Pokemon is a high level. Oh, a double battle. And that's pretty cool. All right, two flying types, unfortunately. So let's use return. And, well, we'll be faster, so Rock Slide. Rock Slide may knock out Tranquil. Also, Altaria is a pretty cool Pokemon. It's a really cool Defy one in the wild. I feel like that's pretty rare. This might actually be a really cool place to train my Pokemon once we defeat all the trainers here. If I still need some levels to get to level 60 before we face the Pokemon League, I might do some double battles here off screen. Okay, I'm gonna try to stay out of the grass and face this last trainer. Yep, fail. Well, at least for part of that. Our unity won't be bested by anyone. We'll see about that. All right, one more cool battle to end things tonight. Ace Trainer Shelly and a Swoobat. Not the strongest Pokemon, but it can be annoying. Psychic and Flying type. Again, not a great matchup for Asper, but a little bit better than it was before. We can at least use Return against Swoobat. Squid is pretty fast. Luckily, it's not super strong. 
Ah, just a little bit of health left. I'm gonna use Horn Leech. We're not gonna really steal that much health, but you never know. Ooh, two HP. Now we'll probably have like, what, three HP after we kill it? If that, oh, five, okay, hey. I'll take it. And Lilligant. All right, so as long as we're faster, this should be good because Megahorn is super effective. And I imagine that'll be a one-hit knockout. It's a very high base power move. Oh, not quite. We don't get stabbed from it. But we do have Sapsifer, so that's cool that we absorb its grass attack. And we don't only have grass attacks. I don't think Lilligant, at least regular Lilligant, has... Um, I'm going to use Return just in case it also has Sapsifer. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I'm pretty sure it has, like, own tempo or some... Or not own tempo. Maybe it does have own tempo. I don't know. Um... But I don't think it has Sap Zipper. But anyway. We couldn't win, but that's alright. It was a good fight. I I appreciate that one. Good note to end on. But that is it for me tonight. Hopefully you guys enjoy that episode. When we come back, we'll have plenty of more fun battles in Victory Road as we prepare for the Pokemon League. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. Keep being awesome, and I'll see you again soon.